Well, you're going to love this story. There is a new viral video tearing up the Internet that's already gotten almost 3 million hits. It's of a homeless man in Columbus, Ohio, who panhandles on the side of the road. He carries a sign that says he's fallen on hard times and has a God-given gift of voice. Turns out it's exactly what he does have. When you're listening to nothing but the best of oldies, you're listening to Magic 98.9. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. And we'll be back with more right after these words. <laughs> and that man's name is Ted Williams, and he joins us exclusively here on the early show this morning. Ted, good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, and good morning to you too. Sir. I, I just want to hear you talk. Right? <laughs> Ted, just read something. Would you? <laughs> it's, you know, first of all, congratulations. And let me just ask you right off the bat, what's it like to go from being homeless and on the side of the road with a sign in your hand to now overnight you are this sensation and people can't get enough of you right now oh my god it's just it's just sensational for one I'm, it's numbing for another overwhelming i mean there's so many words that i i just oh god it's just uh, amazing i feel like uh, well i've already been characterized as the the susan boyle um <laughs> you know i'm i'm just i'm, I'm just so so happy and watch the CBS Evening News with Katie Kerr. No, I just see you right <laughs> or, now. Or, Ted, nice. you could remind oh, people to watch the early you know. show with Erica Hill and Chris Raggy. <laughs> and Give it a shot, Ted. I would love to be able to <laughs> watch the early morning show on CBS with Erica and Chris, or Chris and Erica. We, we've Weekday got, morning. We've got right both here options. on CBS. Wonderful. Ted, have people started to, because I imagine you said it's, you know, it's, it's sort of surreal, and I'm sure it's still sinking in, though. Have people started to come out of the woodwork? Anyone coming out and saying, oh, Ted, I remember you. I knew you had that voice way back when. Yes, ma'am. Well, some people have called me since then. I managed to get a cell phone, but uh, people have called me and said, I knew you were going to do it eventually. I knew you, you know, people. Uh, my mom is just really, I, I, I'm going to be going to New York hopefully this afternoon, and please, I apologize. I'm getting a little emotional. I haven't seen my mom in, in a great deal of time since then, but she doesn't believe it. She's 92, and she lives in Brooklyn, and I'm bo I was born and raised in Brooklyn in the Bedford-Stuyvesant area, right in around Bergen and Buffalo, Atlantic Avenue, Flatbush, mm -hmm. and, you know, that area. So, you know, God has been so good. And, I, and, and um, I, in the year 2010, on, on this date book that somebody gave me, I was going to write on there, well, another year wasted. But it was the year that I found God in my life. I mean, really a God of my understanding. And so it wasn't a wasted year. And I had no idea that something like this would have ever happened to me. It's like almost winning the... Um, Mega ball lottery <laughs> yeah. or something. This is just phenomenal. You're, yeah, you're the third lottery winner today. And I, <laughs> Let me ask you this, <laughs> Ted. You, Ted, you, you got your career got derailed through drugs and alcohol. You you you, um, you talked of that, and and now you've been sober for what two years now? Is that correct? Yeah, about two and a half years. About two yes, and a half. Years. Congratulations for this. So what? So what now? What would you now like to do? How Thank are you, you. going to put this voice to use? Well, I, I would like to just have a job and a home, uh, an apartment or anything, you know, to, to be able to cook in. I'd like to, you know, just get my life in a responsible area of, of, of a 53-year-old man, a tax-paying citizen, and try to put some of my bad memories and everything. Well, I'm not going to forget where I came from, but I'm, I'm, I just want to put some of that on the back burner and continue with my life, whatever is left to live, and, 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 and hopefully... Like I said, I, I was holding that sign with the uh, hopes or, or the wishful thinking that, that somebody was going to ride by and say, hey, man, uh, you know, I got an Internet radio station that could possibly use some production work or something. Well, clearly everything, you know. everything happens for a reason. There's a reason that you were there and that someone did drive by. You mentioned your mom and that you're, that you're headed here to New York. Your mom is 92, and she, this hasn't quite sunk yeah. in for her. You haven't seen her in a while. Um, I imagine for her this is really a dream come true too. Was was she worried that that maybe you wouldn't be able to to pull out of of that low place where you had been? You know, one of my one of my my biggest prayers that I I, I sent out was that she would live long enough for me to to see me you know rebound or whatever. And, and I guess God kept her around and he kept my pipes around, you know, to, to maybe just have one more shot that I would be able to say, Mom, I, I, did, I did do it before, you know, I might pass away before her or whatever, but my dad didn't get a chance to see this. 
but God is good, and, 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 and the only difference between now and the time that I did have some kind of a heyday or, or a successful uh, life is that now I'm more appreciative of life. I'm not taking it for granted, and I am thanking the Lord every day. Even if this didn't happen, I was still on that road. I thanked him and had a, uh, you know, my hour with God. You know, I always had, I called it my hour with God. Sometimes I would make $25 in an hour. Sometimes I'd make... 25 cents in an hour, but at least I would talk to God. I'd get mad at some motorists who would pass by and say, oh, look at that guy who's going to, you did know, they know, I would have my little mumbles. Little did they yeah, know. Well, yeah, Ted, you yeah, know what, yeah, you've, you've put us in great spirits today. Before we let you go, real quickly, say, now batting for the Boston Red Sox, number nine, Ted Williams. Now batting. For the Boston Red Sox, number nine, Ted Williams. Ted, congratulations to you on your success. Good to talk to you, okay? Go get him, all right, buddy? Thank you. All right, thank that was you. Ted.